YouTube. So I went on to the Ableton subreddit to see if I could find some questions I could help answer. And I uh, found one pretty quick about a guy wondering how to make a swelling brass pad sort of synth sound. So I'm going to hop into Ableton and show y'all how it's good. All right. So first up, we have this guy asking how to create a sound like this. And he shows us this music video. He gives us a little yeah. clip of that kind of horn sound going on. So he's asking how to create a horny little pad. Um, I already gave him a little typed answer, but we're going to jump into Ableton here. And I've got two patches already made up. For an example of this sound, the first one I used Native Instruments Massive to make this. <laughs> Sounds pretty similar in my ears. Um, and then, because the question was asked on the Ableton subreddit, I decided to make another patch without using any VSTs. And I used the analog Ableton stock synth, one of the most basic ones. I think that even comes with the, uh, the basic version. And uh, that one sounds like this. So they both have their own characteristics. They sound a little different. Can't quite decide which one I like better. Um, but I'm going to focus on the one I made in analog a little bit more because I think more people would have this and it would probably be the most helpful. So here I have a brand new patch, or, um, the empty, boring old preset of analog. Just uh, when you click it in there, that's what comes up. So what I did first was I left it on the square wave, or the saw wave, excuse me, and um, I went down here to the second oscillator and I tuned it up seven semitones, or a, a perfect fifth. And this kind of gives it that bigger sounding brass assemble type of vibe. And I turned down the volume on it. So it's just more in the, in the background, just kind of supporting and not as prominent as this oscillator, which is our main one. Um, then I went and checked out the filter, brought this all the way up, and the biggest part of this sound here is from the filter attack, from it sweeping up on the frequency, from the lower frequency up to the higher frequency. And we do that by having it go through the filter envelope and giving it a slower attack. So it sounds kind of like that. Already we're kind of getting there. Give it a little bit of resonance to give it that kind of wah sound. There we go. Already getting there. And then I went into the amp, turned down the release a little bit, turned it all the way up so it doesn't decay off. And then I gave the uh, amplitude envelope a slower attack as well. So the whole thing kind of swells in. So there's kind of the basic sound. And um, it's still a polyphonic sound, so you can play more than one. You know, you can play chords and shit. Um, <clears throat> so, you can turn on the unison, but uh, I prefer to go and use a chorus. I just dragged in the chorus preset for Ableton's chorus to give it kind of a bigger sound. Here. Um, let's see. Yeah. And um, 
Matt, the one that I made with Massive has um, a little bit of a better sound and a little bit more control in the high end about where I want to cut off the filter, having it swell up to a certain point and then stop so we don't get those super high frequencies. Um, analog doesn't have this amount of control, so what I did is I used an EQ to just cap off those top frequencies. You could even use an auto filter or anything if you want to just be really quick just to just so it doesn't get those uh, really top end frequencies. So that's the wrong one. So already it's a start. Um, so you can use auto filter or uh, what I used in the first one was an EQ8. Just uh, change the top one to this, turn it on, pull it down, um, you know, past 10k a little bit. And if you wanted, you can play with this to make it sound better or fit your mix better, but I'm just going to leave it alone for now because we're just dealing with the one in element. Uh, next thing was some saturation, just to give it a little more punch. Turned up the drive a little bit, kept it on this analog clip, and turned on the soft clip button so it can distort a little. <laughs> Get in there. Let me turn this up. All right. So then the next big part of this sound is the delay and the reverb. Just kind of any delay sound, you uh, probably know how that works and can change it to your tastes. And the reverb. I turn the reflect way up on this. I like to change it to the high quality. Turn up the decay time and turn down the dry wet a little. So there you go, you have it. Now, they still don't quite sound the same. Let's see. Ah, yes. In the first one, I forgot to bring down the frequency of the filter. So, I'll bring it all the way down, pretty much. There we go. So, it's pretty simple sound, but uh, really cool and uh, something you can create on your own without relying on presets. And that's about it for this sound. So, well, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if it was and you'd like to see more stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button down there and uh, hit like on the video. That would help me a lot. See you next time.